Hey everybody, the bond is back. Welcome to part 32 of Let's Play Neo 2. Alright, I guess I didn't open that box. I thought I did open the box. Well, I guess I must have, like, uh, turned the game off before it saved. Yeah, because I saved and then I opened the box and then I turned it off again. Okay. Did I end up using those points too? I don't remember. I would like to get a damage boost in proportion to heart. And what else do I get for Shifling? I get Arcana of Fire. That's tempting. Extends the amount of time your Yokai weapon remains in an awakened state by 10%. That could be good too. Now I'm thinking there could be a Kadama upstairs. Hi. Thanks for being a scumbag. Wait. Is the boss over here? Is it in this house? Okay, this is very suspicious. Maybe not on this floor. But why would I need to go here? And also, what was the whole point of the key that I got in the last episode? Considering where I need to go is in this place. Unless there's, like, another way in here. Thought you get the jump on me, huh? Well, I won't let ya. Okay. So far, so good. There is, like, a yokai realm over here. Maybe I gotta go through this side. Can you come over, like, right now? Or not? I kinda wanted to get rid of you without facing that yokai over there. Oh, this guy again. Oh, he's no big deal then. As long as I don't stay too close. Like that, see? Man, <laughs> actually playing the DLC of Neo 1 really prepared me for these guys. Although it might be a rough time if I have to face the other monster you see in the first DLC. What was it called? I think it was called a Namahage? I remember those guys being absolute bad news. <clears throat> yeah, that door over there definitely leads to where the boss is. But let's do some looking around first. What was the point of this here dead end? I can literally hear, hear a heartbeat, but... What's the source of it? Actually, it seems more intense when you go through the door. I guess that's only because the boss is there. Also, how the hell do I get outside? I don't see anywhere to get out. Cause it looks like the Kadama's there. Maybe I'm gonna have to go out and uh, go through that gate that I saw. You know, the one that I opened with the key. Oh, wait a minute! There's this guy. Okay, hostile behavior is not gonna cut it. Aha! There's a hot spring here.
Wait. Why can't I go in? Oh, you have to go in the corner. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Why? I guess, like, all this stuff here is not so hot? Kadamas were a bit too lonely. Is that what this is? But I think this stage said that there were two Kadamas. I mean, not, not two Kadamas. Two hot springs. So I obviously missed one. That's a pity. Oh, well. I guess we'll just have to focus on finding the Kadama that I missed. Question is... Do I get to it from this floor? Definitely not. Yeah, I haven't even committed to, like, exploring all of here. So I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, see? That also leads this way. And I bet you that could lead to the Kadama itself. So I can't really get to anywhere else here. Yeah, we're pretty close to ending this stage. I'll probably consider, like, going back to all the stages that I missed stuff in. Like, you know, the hot springs and that. Probably no immediate rush. Well, at least that's the last Kadama. And then we'll take it from there. Oh, look, there's another Scampus, too. If I have enough time, I wonder if I can take him with me to the boss. Probably not. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Also, does this lead back inside, too? Oh, that's just a backdoor entrance. I see. This also leads inside. <laughs> this is a room I haven't visited. That must have been Lady No there. But she didn't die. Wasn't she the Viper's daughter? Like, Dosan's daughter? Not to mention, I'm also the uh, son of uh, Dosan. Oh, why am I going back this way? At least that's what it was alluded to. Oh, okay, there's the stairs. That's what I was looking for. Alright, here we go. Better get Sloth ready too, just in case. Notice that those are the two other uh, spirit animals I could have taken. That's pretty fascinating. That Saito Yoshitatsu would have them. So far, he seems pretty easy to handle. Although that could change, because remember, it looks like he's part yokai now. Yep, that's what I gotta worry about. Especially if that move doesn't work. Oh, 
definitely likes to throw that around. So far, so good. At least magic is somewhat working on him. Oh, oh wow! I didn't think I could track like that. Yeah, I can almost throw like several times. Oh boy. Yeah, I can redirect it a couple times. Whoa! Thank God he missed. Oh God, he's got lightning blades. Oh great, now he's using the water. He keeps himself in place when he does that. Oh god, he's using his uh, Guardian Spirit power. He has his own Yokai shift. Oh, Jesus, that was close. Okay, he staggered, but I couldn't even take advantage of it. Oh, no! Okay, that's not a kill. Pretty close, though. Oh god, I'm staggered. Here we go again. God, he's in Yokai Shift. That's what I gotta worry about. He's almost beaten. I beat him! Nice! Downed his ass. Okay, you put up one hell of a fight, I'll give you that. And that's deserving of a bow. That looks like I kissed his helmet, what the hell? There. <laughs> Didn't think I'd need one try to beat him. Wait, that's me? Yeah, we sludge. Dude that killed his mom. You're late. You can't even see my face. Yeah, pay no attention to like the black sludge for a pile of armor was. Always thinking about the money. Yeah, that is so weird that Yoshitatsu is a clone of myself. Tokichiro seems to be very agitated about the spirit stones going missing, but it is of little concern. Yoshitatsu's collapse? The terrible state of the castle? Was it all caused by overuse of the stones? Hmm. Just like that dagger of yours, and the glow of this talisman of mine. This world is full of mysteries. As Tokichiro says, Nobunaga's conquest of Mino has finally reached its end. 
And now it's he seems to have shifted his focus to the west. Oh my god, now I can use two Guardian Spirits at once at the same time? I had to beat the main story Neil 1 to get this. So I get this right away. Your primary Guardian Spirit will function as normal. Your second Guardian Spirit will grant you the protection that is marked with the uh, pa passing over trait icon. However, its effect will be less than when it's active as your primary Guardian Spirit. During a mission, press R1 and L2 to switch your primary Guardian Spirit and secondary one. I wonder if you can actually level up your Guardian Spirits now, too. No, you can't do that. That would be a bit nuts. Oh damn, I got a lot of Ochoco Cups. But now the grave is of 8 to 17 players! Big ups to you, 17, that uh, took advantage of my uh, benevolent grave. Please let yourselves be known if you're watching this video. You actually got me a nice bit of a Choco Cups. Alright, so we got like a lot of places. Well, technically it's only three. We can do the Viper and the Butterfly, which is level 58. The Shiftling's Wise Judgment at level 57. An end to seclusion, level 54. Well, we did get a ninja skill, so let's go over that now. Don't think I want Saboteur. What is Flaming Hair on Feathers? Oh, that must be the Karoka spell! Huh. And there's also Raijin. And Yaroka Water. Oh my lord, this... This stuff looks really amazing! You can get Shadow Arts! But I have to get Smoke Ball to even get it. Alright, so let's just take Smoke Ball, because I want that stuff. Also, before we take on any of these submissions, let's see what's going on in the next region. With each success, Hideyoshi's reputation grew greater. Yet for all his small victories, he was still a bit player in a much larger landscape. Forced to lead the horses of his masters around by the bit. Luis Froyz on Toyotomi Hideyoshi, Story of Japan, Volume 2, Chapter 1. の兵隊大義であるこよいは良い。わしは稲葉山の名を岐阜に改め新たな拠点とし天下取りに乗り出す。さすがは我が殿。それ。ははっ。であればこれを機に我らにも新たな名乗りをお許しください。しゃしゃりで撃て昨日ほど湧き前徳吉郎の口秀千代の秀で義秀二人で一つの名を許すなただし名は秀吉とせよ
Wait a minute, does this mean that uh, Hideyori is going to be our son? しかし、did they actually lay this out like it's a map in Samurai Warriors? Wow. To think that Tecmo Koi would actually do that. Also, the reason why I came here is this. Wow, I actually got another trophy. Seasoned Traveler. Just go find some items. The sh the Shugendo Hermit Hatchets. Mount Haku is one of the three holy mountains of Japan. Also a very dangerous wrestler that had a lot of stories. Since it is the source of so many rivers, the mountain itself is considered a repository of the gods, particularly gods that are associated with water and agriculture. It has been used as a spiritual training ground for practitioners of Shugendo since the Nara period. Back and back in the WCW days, it was known as Mount Meng. <laughs> Hold on, is there any other items we can get here? Oh, hang on. Right here. The Warlord's Curus. Kyosu Castle was the main castle of the Oda clan when it was served the Vice Governor of Owari Province. The Vice Governor was eventually killed by Oda Nobunaga, who lived in Kyosu Castle for moving his base to Gifu Castle after the invasion of Mino. At this point, Kyosu Castle lost its significance and was merely guarded by a samurai guard. Okay. I wonder who that guard was. Oh, Violet Cherry Blossom is just back in the rotation. Okay, I had to clear a bird in a cage. And that's not it. That's just a way out. Oh. I thought there was a third item nearby. That's weird. There's so few items there. Unless I have to make more progress, then they'll become available. Is that how it works? I can't tell if they're all going to be available at the start, or I have to make progress for them to show up. Well, I don't see anything, so... I guess we'll just retreat. Meanwhile, this is 1570! God, we're almost 30 years before the events of the first Neo game. Nothing new has appeared here. Obviously clear that out. Alright, so before, you know, before I start the next episode, I'm gonna have to clear out a lot of inventory. Or maybe I should go to the blacksmith. Oh yeah, new stuff is available. Uh, let's get another, uh, maybe, uh, purchasing price discount? 4%, please. And I should definitely buy some things. You're not a signpost amulet. Arrows are a must. Maybe another righteous jasper? And some whetstones. Definitely get some whetstones. And I think that's gonna be it. Let me start soul matching some stuff. The spear that I like to use, which is like a bone paw spear, is only level 28. I could give up the coin threader though. 
If I do give up the coin threader, it's gonna cost a lot. Oh my god. 134,000? Well, let me see what soul core I can give up. I can give up an Enki soul core. Level 42. That'll definitely increase it big time. Yeah, let's use it. Oh, I have a better longbow. I should switch that up. Okay, I'll definitely consider that. What about my tonfas? Oh, God, that's also level 45. Will cost 81,000. All right, what if I try another soul core? It won't cost as much. But I'd hate to give any of these up. Okay, fair enough. What about swords? Tokage Maru is also a yokai weapon. So I might want to level that one up, or at least use it. This one would give me Golden Boy. I don't care for that. Uh, I think we're good? And I won't be able to get a good Seething Dragon. So I don't have another exotic Switch Glaive. Hold on. The Tengu that I have, that's the one I want to keep. So I can actually afford to get rid of this one. Except I can't financially. I can go as far as level 38. Let's hold off on that. Because I am a little bit low on money. Oh, because of that I got another patronage level. That's fantastic. Six percent discount, please. Okay. So then I'll stop the video right here, and in the next part, we're gonna go to an end to seclusion. Oh, apparently we've gotta do this for Oichi. Eh, we'll deal with that later. Only I need to clear it. Alright, see you later everyone. Thank you so much for watching.